Okay, folks, look, I said I had an announcement. If you've seen the um, Scores on the Door section earlier, I mentioned it uh, yesterday, day, day before, I think. I'm looking at doing something a week on Saturday, um, but before I actually do it, I'm looking at gauging an opinion. Let me know what you think. Um, this is what I'm looking at doing, and it's funny enough, it's something that I discussed with Dave at Pegasus about three months ago, or two months ago. We had an idea, whatever else. It didn't get any further because I've been busy at the time, he was busy and so on and so forth. I'm going to do it without any outside help or I'm looking at it. This is what it is, look. What I'm looking at doing is I'm looking at bringing in a uh, horse racing competition because I know we've got loads that come in interested in horse racing and I know we're a bit of a conduit for all different channels, different people visit from different channels and so on and so forth. And I thought we'd look at doing a tipping comp. It's going to be different than anything you've come across before, folks, and I'll explain why quickly. I'll go more into the rules of it later in the week when I feel a bit better. I'm sounding all right now, but I don't know. I could just keep having coffee face, and I don't, don't want to run here for too long. I'm looking at doing it. It's not going to be a free comp. People will pour into it. I'm looking at getting at least 50 people involved, or 60. If we can get up to 100, even better. But I want minimum 50 or 60. If 50 or 60 aren't interested, I'm not going to do it. It's going to be a tenner in, a tenner for everybody. We're probably going to do a first, second and a third prize, but the first prize will take the bulk of it, by far and away the bulk of it. It's going to be a weekly comp. It's going to be based on Saturday racing only, only Saturday. I'm going to pick the premier race meeting on Saturday or the one that I think is the premier race meeting or the one that might have the best fields. It's going to be one meeting and one meeting only. All the races don't have to be TV races. I'm going to try and look at maybe fields where there's more handicaps and more big prices may come in. More about that further down the line. And everybody's going to be allowed three selections. Again, more about prices and how the selections work and the points going will work in the next few days. I'm going to do it a week on Saturday if I bring it in at all because I've got to yet do another video to tell you how it's all going to work. I say it's going to be different than you've seen before. Um, and one of the reasons I'm not doing it this weekend anyway is because the Champions meeting this weekend, it's... The racing isn't as great. It's great to watch, but you get a lot of shorties in there and whatever else, and I don't really want that. I want more competitive racing. So it's going to be from a week on Saturday. Um, the idea is to get 50 or 60 involved, but this is the bit that many of you won't, won't like. I mean, many of you might not like paying the tenor towards it. Um, if you don't mind that, you might not like the next bit. It's all going to be done in all ways on trust. The tenor isn't going to be paid at the outset. It can no, it's not going to be paid at the outset. When the comp's over, I'm going to ask everybody to pay the tenors that I've pledged, that I've put in, and I'm going to trust people. I know someone say, oh, I'm not for that, I'm not for that at all. Well, I always trust folk before I don't believe in them. I mean, I'm not going to have anybody in the competition that's nasty and calling others, so there'll be a few people that I wouldn't be allowed in. If there's one or two bad eggs that get in there and they start being nasty towards others, I'll just ban them, and you know I don't ban folks, folks, but I'm going to. I um, won't have any nastiness in there. Um, but what will happen is, at near the end of the comp, I'll set up something where people can send money in. I might ask somebody like Dave the Suit or Dave from Pegasus to set some kind of PayPal thing up where you all pay it to someone that they've set up. And I, at the outset, I'll tell folk how it'll all be split, how the money's will be split, so you'll know what you're winning, assuming everyone pays up. Because um, I'm, I'm crap with any technology folks, setting up things I'm crap with and everything else, and I don't want to be the person collecting the money because it's my channel. I don't mind sort of telling folk where it goes and who gets paid out, but I don't want to be collecting it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a meeting probably every Thursday tea time. I'm going to say on Thursday tea time, this is the meeting for this Saturday, and I'll name a number two meeting in case the Saturday meeting gets called off, so we've got a second meeting to go to. If two meetings get called off, it'll be void that one week. It'll be just one week void. Um, and that's the way I'm going to do it I'm going to have all selections in by 11am on a Saturday morning anything after 11am will not count but I'll explain how we're going to police that and I'm also going to trust people on a daily basis to put their own figures in of what they've won and lost they're going to put the bets in on a Saturday and then on a Sunday they're going to, I'm going to tell them how to do this they're going to join another comment thread and they're going to put in how many points they had the previous day and everybody can check everybody else. So what we're going to do is, there's a few folk that come to the channel that are on the ball that'll check everybody anyway, and they're keen on everything. But we'll notice, because there's so many of us, if somebody's lying and making points up and making totals up, we'll think, wait a minute, that's wrong. 
we'll correct it and after it'll be like a two strikes and you're out if somebody lies on two occasions we'll just get rid of them so it's all going to be a trust thing it's going to be different than anything you've seen before um we're going to say to people do you want to come in they're going to say yes they're going to be invited in i want 50 or 60 but i'll take more if we can get up to 100 it's even better a tenner's not a hell of a lot for anybody to lose it isn't at all and there'll be a chance even at the last weeks of it that somebody that's that's near enough last could come through the pack and still win it um so we're going to set something up where most anybody can win and it's just about pledging and being honest and that's the bit that probably folk won't be able to get the way i look at it is this folks i played cards with people in the past for money over many a year not for a while now not poker that dave plays but i mean in groups of lads and i've had people that can't pay and won't pay and whatever else i don't threaten to beat them up i don't beat them up i don't fall out with them i just say right that's fine no problem if you're not willing to to be a man and, and pay what you do you're no good you're not a man you're no good you can't be trusted you'll never play with us again and that'll be it and that's how this comp will, will be if three or four people won't pay the tenner they'll never get invited in again and to be honest with you if the people that visit the channel they won't be on the channel again so i'll get rid of them if they come as different profiles i can't do anything about that but they'll just get the backs turned on them you know um so the winnings will be paid out assuming everyone pays in full but if one or two lets it down then obviously it'll come off the prizes ever so slightly um there's a couple of reasons I'm looking at doing this, a uh, bit of camaraderie, a bit of whatever else, but there's a couple of other reasons that I think are important, more about them later in the week. So let me know what you think, folks. It's a tenner in, you pay the tenner at the end, so many won't like their day paying the tenner after they've already lost, or virtually lost. We'll probably get the monies in on the last week, say the Saturday before the end of the comp. The comp will run till the Saturday before Christmas. However many weeks that is, is how many it is. So the comp will start a week this Saturday. It'll run till the week before Christmas. And if it goes well, what we'll probably do is first Saturday into the new year, we'll start one again and we'll do, say, a three-month one. And we might do four a year uh, for folk that want to be in there. Um, and that's what we'll do. What I'm also looking at doing is I'm looking at inviting everybody that tips online, folk like Dave the Suit and Peter, um, Mickey and everybody else, I'm actually going to send them a personal email and ask would they like to come in because I'd like them to, but they don't have to. And I'd do a different uh, a different league with the, those four, five, ten, however many join. And just as a matter of interest, see who wins. And maybe what we could do with themselves, because they are doing a little bit sort of semi-professionally and because they are running a little bit from YouTube, so maybe what we'll say to those, if any of you guys win, maybe give sort of 10 or 50 or 10 to 20%, 20%, 20% of what you win, to a charity of your choice uh, maybe we'll do that the winner of this comp between us normal folk can keep it all it's not a problem if someone wants to give something to charity they can but they don't need to we're doing it just for a laugh amongst ourselves I would imagine if Mickey would give it all because that's what he does but Mickey's different than, than all the rest of us and then the tipping comp with the tips side of it where we'll just score differently they'll be in it with all of us but they'll, we'll have a different league there <clears throat> believe it or not I'm even happy and I don't want folk calling me, I'll call others, for people like the Messiah, uh, the person who's been doing it for 35 years, who's brilliant and was an ex-investigative journalist, uh, the dandelion and bird out man who's done it longer than anybody else and is the best tipster in Great Britain. I even don't mind people like that being in there. I don't think any of them will come in it. I know they watch the channel. I don't think they'll come in it because I think we will show that, firstly, the tipsters that we believe in, most of them will beat them. And also many of us, I think, will beat them, which will just show really what they're saying online is really folly. They're not as good as they're saying they are. But if they've got a bit of backbone about them, and if they've got something about them, they're welcome as well. For all, most all of them have threatened me with legal action for this, that or the other. They're welcome in there. As long as they pay the tenner at the end, well, when they pay the tenner, that's up to themselves. Um, they'll be allowed in as well. They'll be in the tipsters league rather than, because we're going to have two leagues. That's the thing, by the way, I meant to say. We're going to have... Well, I've already said that. We're going to have an overall thing. It's going to be a tipsters thing and a side. Uh, we're going to do something different for the tipsters. Um, and that's it. I just need to put some more final points on Although I think I know how it's going to score. I think I know how we're going to do it. But it's imperative that all uh, tips are in for 11 o'clock. Because after 11, the door's going to be closed on a daily basis. If you miss 11 o'clock on a Saturday, you won't get in. Uh, and that's basically it. Um, what do you think? Let me know. I'm after 50 or 60 saying, yeah, I'm good for that, grumpy. I'm going in that. I want to be in that. If there's more, all the better. Um, and as I say, what we will do, I'll announce it 
the whys and wherefores, the nuts and bolts of it between now and the weekend. It might even be over the weekend. By Monday, all the rules will be out there and the reasons for me doing the thing. Uh, and then we'll get people to jump on board. And anybody that jumps on board, we'll do a thread on the scores on the doors and I'll say, right, anybody that wants to come on board, put your name down on this thread of the scores on the doors tonight uh, and you're in. And then we just trust at the end of the competition, the week before Christmas, or two weeks before Christmas, you're going to pay a tenner to an account at PayPal that we're going to set up or whatever it may be. All right, let me know what you think. If you find it great, if you're not, no bad feelings, you don't have to be doing it, you don't have to do it at all. But everybody, and I mean everybody, is welcome. Yeah, everybody. Okay, nastiness and you'll be out.